Hello, this is Dr. Charmaine Gregory, and this is the Nocturnist Diary. I am at the ballpark with our youngest cherub. She is doing t-ball, and um, we are enjoying this weather that we're currently having in Michigan. Now, this has been long awaited for a summer to arrive, and we are super excited. We're okay with skipping spring and going straight to summer. And we love to be outdoors and enjoy the weather. Now, that made me think about some tips that would be helpful in this scenario. So maybe you live somewhere where it's warm all the time, um, but if you do live somewhere where it's not, like we do, then it's definitely important that you consider these items. So the first thing is, oh, I'm also being joined by um, our two oldest cherubs back here. Um, they're watching Naruto right now, super engrossed in that. That's like their favorite show to watch. Watching, we're not watching Naruto, we're watching My Little Pony. Oh, funny. now you're watching My Little Pony. Okay, there you go. Compromise. That's what happens when you live in a house with several sisters. All right, so there you have it. So the three tips that I want to share with you are, the first one is, please, please, please apply your sunscreen. It is super important that you do this. Even if you have melanin in your skin, um, you still run the risk of potentially developing skin cancer. So it is important that you protect yourself. So apply sunscreen, apply it often, apply it more often if you're fairer in complexion because that is gonna help to protect you. Now, people think I'm neurotic. I literally slather on the sunscreen when we're at the, at the beach and I put them on, you know, I put like SPF 50 on them and I'm not ashamed of that because I want to make sure that they're protected and that they're not going to be put at risk unnecessarily. So there you have it. Sun, skin, protect yourself. The second tip is to drink enough water. Now, you know, it's warm out, you're excited, you want to get out there, you want to be part of everything, uh, but you have to make sure that you stay well hydrated. Your body requires Excuse me, guys. Do you mind? Too loud. Um, so, basically, I'm sorry. My children are like doing the AV system and ruining my life. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is real life y'all real life okay hashtag real life mom life there this is it right here this right here um okay all right so what was i saying number two was stay hydrated so you need to have at least one half of your body weight in pounds so for me i'm 180 pounds i need one half of that 90 ounces of water daily okay and so you need to calculate what it is for you and that is what you need as your baseline so stay hydrated with the appropriate amount of ounces of water now you may wonder how in the world am I gonna get all this water in carry a water bottle with you wherever you're going and sip on it pretty much all day long refill it sip on it some more until you have made your goal there's some really neat apps out there that can help you to track your water intake um, you can maybe buddy up with someone and just see you know do like a little mini water challenge just to kind of get you guys uh, motivated to get enough water in every day but it's super important that you get in your water now if it's hot out and you're doing things that are exertional you're going to need above and beyond that so for me, I get my 90, but then if it's hot and I'm running around, we're doing things outside, then I might add another 40 or so. So that was number two, get enough water. Number three is gonna be listen to your body. Now, if you've been on the couch chilling all winter and now the sun is out and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I think I need to go outside and do something, just be careful. Don't get ahead of yourself. Make sure that you listen to your body and if your body is hurting or your body is saying stop, that you do, okay? Because what you don't want is you don't want to hurt yourself, number one. Put it in here. So any kind of like strain, sprain, etc. Or you also don't want to, you know, develop 
a problem where you are having something called rhabdomyolysis, which is where you um, you start breaking down muscle and your kidneys can't clear it fast enough and you end up with some issues with your kidney function. So we don't want you to have any of those things, okay? So listen to your body, gauge your activity appropriately based on your level of fitness, okay? Now, if you have to start, there's no shame in starting out with walking around the block at the onset, okay, and progress further. Don't feel like you have to go and do some crazy donkey kicks and burpees right off, right out the gate when you haven't done anything all winter, okay? Just, just my advice, just saying. All right, so three tips again. The first one was sunscreen. I don't care what color your skin is, sunscreen, okay? If you're gonna be in the sun, protect yourself. Number two, drink sufficient amounts of water and adjust it to your level of exposure and activity. Number three, listen to your body. If it hurts, stop. If you've not done it in a long time, don't jump to back to where you were before. Your body's not gonna be ready, okay? So just be careful because we want you to be in a situation where you can enjoy the outdoors, enjoy time with your family and friends, and enjoy this lovely weather that we're having. So these are just my thoughts. Just wanted to share it with you guys. Three easy tips that you can apply immediately. And um, this is Dr. Charmaine Gregory, and this is the Nocturnist Diary. I hope that you will be strong, be brave, and unleash your greatness. I also hope that if you enjoyed this broadcast, you felt like it was something that's helpful to you, that you will, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel. If you are watching this through the blog, that you will share the blog post if you found it helpful, and also comment below. I appreciate y'all. Okay, have a good one. Bye.